Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel to a brand new video. In this video we are excitingly revealing the cloakroom. Now I know some of you will have seen some of the cloakroom and you know what we're doing in there because I talked you through it didn't I? The whole way through the renovation of that room. So you know what it's going to look like but I just wanted to give a final look at what we created in there and a look back because I love doing that you know like the before and afters and yeah we're going to look back at what that area was like before because it wasn't actually a room before if you remember anyway we'll get into it okay also I just wanted to say thank you for all of your wonderful comments in the last video about my hair yeah you've all been so lovely about it and my hair is really important to me and that's why I keep going on about it but it is important to a lot of girls, isn't it, your hair? So yeah, I had it cut, obviously, and we did the fringe. I cut my bangs and I she actually cut them in longer and it grows out too fast. So on this occasion, I just said, can I, can I have a, a bit more taken off? Well, I felt different. I felt Russian. <laughs> I felt, um, I don't know, it was really spiky. It's starting to settle down now, but I'm still not used to it. I also had a lot more taken off the length as well. So it's really blunt cut. I did have some layers put in, but um, I've put my hair extensions in today because I don't know, I, I can't get used to styling the new hair. I don't feel like it's settled down enough. And yeah, you guys, you're just the best. You made me feel so good about it because it felt too short for me. I wasn't getting used to it. I had to come on camera and I really didn't like it. I'm not going to lie. So you did help me out a lot by being so kind in the comments. So I just wanted to say thank you for all your wonderful comments about the hair. It will grow out and we'll shut up about it now, okay? If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen on my stories that I've been looking for a reed diffuser, a luxury reed diffuser for this cloakroom room downstairs because I wanted to have all the styling pieces ready to style this room before we did the video and that's why it's taken me so long to get this video up because I've been waiting on things and the one I wanted was out of stock. I had my heart set on a certain reed diffuser for that cloakroom and for the rest of the house really. I really want to invest in some of these luxury reed diffusers and there's so many on the market i know that but from what i've sniffed <laughs> this one these ones are really really nice so i thought well while i'm waiting for the the one i want to come back into stock fingers fingers and toes crossed i'll ask you guys on instagram if there's any others that you think and you can recommend yeah i got a few responses there were some that i didn't even hear of and you're going to all come in the comments now, aren't you? And give me loads of freaking inspiration. And it's too late because look, ta-da, we have what we originally wanted. I did actually feature the Rituals Reed Diffusers in, what video was it? Around Christmas time, gift guide, wasn't it? And a, a few of you bought that Reed Diffuser off of my recommendation. Now, I know I haven't actually bought it for myself yet. It's been on my wish list for quite some time. I've always known I've wanted it and I have sniffed them all. I spent so long in that shop in Manchester. As you can see there at the top, it says, rituals, happiness can be found in the smallest of things. It is our passion to turn everyday routines into more meaningful moments. Your body, your soul, your rituals. I'm actually thinking about investing in the skincare as well. Has anybody had the skincare from Rituals? and shall we try that out because like I said this year is all about trying new products so inside the box is this gorgeous gold packaging bag like it's real luxury and it has all of the rituals logo on there leave a little happiness wherever you go that's what that says <laughs> so I bought mine from rituals direct because it was free delivery whereas the other stores were charging for delivery an extra fiver or something like that so it's free delivery well it was for this purchase so if you sign up with your email as a member they offer you free gifts incentives with every purchase 
So I've actually got two things in here. I got what I wanted and then I got my free gift as well. This box is luxury. As you can see there from what's on the box, we've gone for the private collection. I'm interested in that collection the most because it's stunning. So if you ever pass a ritual store, go and have a snip at the mall and see what you like. There's two in particular that I really like and it's this sweet jasmine one and it's also the black oud. I'll leave both of them linked down below so you can have a look. But if you want to just take my word for it, you won't be disappointed. That's what it looks like inside. Look at the giant bottle. Do you know what? Now it's here. It's massive. It's massive. And I don't know if it's going to fit in the space downstairs. I mean, if it doesn't, we'll just keep it for another room. Like I said, I am going to fill my house with these luxury reed diffusers. And this is just the first one. So the reason I went for the Sweet Jasmine is because I like the gold, it's almost like a muted gold um, colour of the bottle. We can always swap out what's inside the oil actually later on when it's like, you know, gone. There's our little reed diffuser sticks. So we'll pop it together in a minute. A sparkling and vibrant fruity top notes of fresh citrus notes and berries leads to elegant blossoms like peony and Mugway, Mugway, Mugway. Sandalwood adds elegance and warmth to the fragrance. I love the smell of sandalwood. Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> oh my God, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, really feminine, very elegant. This is stunning. So it's like floral but it's elegant floral, light, crispy, elegant, floral, spring, summer vibes. And the bottle is just absolutely incredible and giant. Look at the giant bottle, like literally, it's nearly the size of my head and I do have a little pea head, okay? But it's massive, like look at my hand. It's bigger than my hand, it's just luxury. So this was a free gift with purchase. High performance essentials for men gift set. And inside we have a shower foam with cedar wood and antiperspirant spray with cedar wood. And I'm gonna have a sniff. So obviously I picked this up for Ash. Let me just spray this because I love the way my husband smells. Ooh, that's nice. Honestly, you want to see the mess that's down here in front of you. So I'm going to clean this mess up. I'm also going to film an Instagram reel for the Rituals unboxing. And then, yeah, I think it will be, we've no watch on today. I think it will be about lunchtime and I'm so hungry. So this is my lunch today. We've got some chicken teriyaki cali rolls. These were in the deli section at Aldi first thing this morning. And I didn't know they did chicken ones now. Um, usually I get the sushi and they are $2.99 and you get quite a few in there, don't you? Sweet and sticky teriyaki chicken, crunchy red peppers, perfectly seasoned rice. I would love to do a sushi class. Maybe we should book one, me and Joelle. I've also got here, randomly, an avocado because you guys know what it's like. If we've got any avocado lovers on the channel, let me know in the comments, but you will know, like, you don't decide when you're going to eat the avocado. The avocado decides when you are going to eat it. Yeah, if I don't eat this today, basically, it will be wasted. And I'm on the water. So I filled my little Starbucks mug with water. And yeah, that's my lunch for the day. So bon appetit. You're not allowed avocados, Ralphie. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I read that they were poisonous for puppies. I'm sorry, sweetheart. It's because I love you, that's why. I'm mm, sorry, no. And Liz and Daddy say no because we love you, that's why.
haven't seen these for so long. And I found them in the random aisles at Aldi. Prone cocktail, what's it? I thought they stopped doing these, but I love what's it. I just love the cheesy ones, but I love these prone cocktail ones as well. And the quavers, prone cocktail quavers. Do you remember the advert for these? It used to make me feel like warm and fuzzy. And yeah, I thought I'll pick Ash some of these up. Yeah, he's had a bit of a cough. And he can't seem to get rid of it. And he's currently sucking on those menthol sweets. And I'm getting sick of them. So um, it's just the sugar that you need to coat the throat with, isn't it? My little muffin tin arrived as well. And I'm not sure if it's the right size. You know, th these look really small. They look like cupcakes. When we've got a morning free or an afternoon, we will spend the day and we will try and bake some Yorkshire puddings from scratch. The lighting is so terrible. I'm so sorry, you guys. You know what it's like downstairs anyway? So we're in the kitchen diner and just through that door behind me is the cloakroom. So we're about to go in and have a look. But before we do, I've had to actually bring down the studio lighting so that we can see properly down here because obviously in that little room, and I'll explain to you and show you in a minute on the before footage what that area looked like it wasn't a room we've created a room out of an old corridor that used to lead out into the stairway blocked it all up created the room and obviously it's got no window in there so it's now got a light but it will be shocking footage because there's no natural light when you're filming you need as much natural light as possible which is why it's impossible for uk vloggers in the autumn winter time Anyway, we've got extra studio lighting. It's blinding me right now, but I'm doing it for the vlogs. We're doing it for the video. But without further ado, you guys, let's throw it back to the before footage. And then down here, we'll be blocking off, putting a door on, and then this will be the downstairs cloakroom toilet. So then there'll be no access through there anymore because I don't want that corridor <laughs> at all. <laughs> so this corridor, goes all the way down to the other side of the house and then takes a left turn and then on to the other side of the house. Guys, look what he's done in the cement. <laughs> How cute is that? I can't call. Husband, I love you. <laughs> this creepy little window at the end of that corridor so as you can see it's not there anymore we removed the frame of it um, off the wall and then we've plasterboarded over from this side now that's all ready to be re-skimmed so it won't be there at all you won't see it at all when it's finished this room down in here where you can see the old paper that is where the door is going to go and our little downstairs loo will be in there Susie's back Grab a paintbrush. Wipe <laughs> paint out again. have a little look at the cloakroom so we've been very busy you guys checkerboard tile in this gorgeous sage so as you can see from the before footage the layout is rather different in this house also i hope i'm not being super annoying sucking on this weight because there was someone in the supermarket this morning and they were chewing on chewing gum next to me like and they had no concept of personal space now i really liked it when that two meter distance was in place during covid because i get claustrophobic so you know anyway she's chewing on this chewing gum like and it was so annoying me it was so annoying me i was like 
God give me strength because these devils, <laughs> these devils are testing me. <laughs> So before we actually film inside there all finished, well more or less finished, I wanted to show you a few bits that I picked up just recently in order to style that room and that is this. It's like a jute shelf. It's got these little shelf compartments and I just thought it were perfect because it's circular. I thought it will be perfect for at the back, you know the window, that creepy window? Well we've turned that into a photo frame and we was gonna find something originally we thought a piece of artwork in there behind the toilet I know a lot of you guys said that we should create a mirror in that space but it just didn't make sense to me I knew what you were saying and you were right however the placement of the mirror you can't move it I don't need a mirror above the toilet like what do I need a mirror above the toilet for and I'm gonna need a mirror anyway above the sink, which is in a different, like, on a different wall. So yeah, the mirror just wasn't an option. So I thought I'll keep my eye out and we'll create some artwork. It, it'll come to me as the time goes by. That's what I like about renovations. You've really got to sit on it if you're not sure. And do you know what? That would be a massive tip of mine that I don't think I've mentioned during renovations. Do not rush to fill a space because that's how you get it wrong. That's how you waste your money and just it's a waste all overall really you need to live in a space like actually live in it and what i've noticed is sometimes that means living in an empty space until the right piece comes along or the right idea and it will it will come to you as the place evolves so yeah top tip don't rush to fill a space like wait for the right pieces anyway waiting for the right piece I just came across this in the home bargains one day and I just thought it's giant. I wonder if it'll fit in that window space, that circular space, because then it's like a 3D piece of art. Not only is it a shelf, we can have our, well, you can have products on here or four plants, a reed diffuser, a perfect use of space. And you know how I feel about things like that. So it's slightly too small, isn't it? No, I think it's right. Do you think so? You don't, but, you don't want to touch your edges. No, definitely not. And it just looks like a really thick frame around it, don't it? I can work with that anyway. I think it's absolutely lovely. We'll just put like um, a nice little reed diffuser on it. But what my question is though, hubby, how are we going to get, how are we going to attach it? Because it's, it's glass behind there, isn't it? We will. <laughs> so as you just seen, hubby tried to fix it into place. And then we're gonna need some things on the shelves, which is really gonna weigh it down. So like gluing wasn't an option. We couldn't screw it to that to that window because it's glass. So hubby came up with this string look. And do you know what I'm seeing a lot of in the vintage decor? A lot of photo frames are hanging on these style of strings now, and I think they look fabulous. And therefore we can hang it with a lot of weight and it will look fabulous in particular in this house. So yeah, really excited to get that up. I also picked up this four plant and it's got quite a lot of foliage on it. I must admit it does look for, it's not my ideal um, tone. So I'm always looking for four plants anyway because I like to style up inside of cupboards and obviously you can't use real plants to do that because they'll just die if they don't have any fresh air etc. So I do like a lot of four plants where well, we have real ones as well but for the sake of cupboards and things like that and dark spaces I don't think it'll survive. So I'm going to use this for now. Not happy about the, um, what do you call it, the little black pot. We're going to paint that in the Faro and Ball slipper satin because that features heavily doesn't it around the house and then everybody wants some fragrance in the bathroom so i thought now would be the perfect time to invest in one of the luxury fragrance from rituals this is the private collection as you saw the unboxing this morning so i've set it all up the reed diffuser sticks are in it looks like this that's also going to go on the shelf i've realized it's giant and it's quite heavy, but I'm not worried about the shelf falling over anymore. And also, you know the shelves here, it's like a little ledge, so it can't just fall off. 
So we'll secure it anyway, we'll try. <laughs> Next we have this little toilet roll basket. Now this is quite large. I don't know how it's going to look in the bathroom. We're gonna style all this together in a moment. Still got the tag on. Now this is from JISC. And as you can see, it's a very different kind of a basket. It's for toilet rolls and inside obviously you pile your toilet rolls in. Now this top bit here comes off and you slide your toilet roll that you're using onto this bit and basically pull the toilet roll off of this. I'll show you properly but hopefully that makes sense and yeah I'm going to use this for toilet rolls in there. Yeah, I think that's it. The only other thing, and I'm really gutted about this, I wanted a really nice hand towel. So obviously we've gone for the Burlington sink. I'll show you in a minute. There's a rail that comes with the sink and obviously it'll fit a really nice hand towel on and I just haven't found one yet. I want a really pretty one that's gonna go really well in that room. You'll see in a minute. And please, if you see anything whilst you guys are out and about on your travels in the shops or online, let me know what tea towels, tea towels? Let me know what hand towels would be great for that space. I want a really nice one. I'll probably buy a couple and have them on rotation. Um, is that it or was there something else? Oh, there was something else in there that's lacking and that is the soaps. So the sink is a very small Burlington sink and it doesn't fit bottles on, you know, the pump bottles to wash your hands with or else I would probably have bought the Rituals. I'll link them down below as well because I might just buy the Rituals hand lotions and washes for my kitchen because I'm doing an upgrade in there so watch this space. I'll link these ones down below. The sink does however have these little um, grooves in the ceramic like built into the sink where you can put some little soaps and it drains down I'll show you in a moment. We went to TK Maxx didn't we thinking they'll have some really nice soaps in there because it's got a good soap section. We still need to go to Home Sense, so I am hoping they have some nice little soaps do you know what? We could have stole them from the Savoy in Rome because I'm just thinking now, sorry, it's just come to me. We all steal the hotel soaps and things, don't we? Because, I mean, they give them you, don't they? Like I thought I was stealing them for years and actually I heard somewhere on the grapevine that they're actually for you to take. Is that right? <laughs> Anyway, if you're not allowed to take them, I would have took them anyway. And yeah, they had some really nice ones from the Savoy um, in Rome just not long ago and I really should have brought them home. Why didn't I think of that? It's so annoying, isn't it, when you think of it later? Like, I do that all the time. Like, I'll be in bed at night and I'll think, oh, I should have said this and I should have said that. <laughs> and I never did. <laughs> this is the second room to be fully finished in the house and that really excites me. Also, we have started looking at flooring for the house. I'm not gonna lie it's really quite heavy obviously it's full but you know like I did test with hubby I said like will that take some weight he said yes so <laughs> fingers crossed this doesn't end up all over the floor or even smash the tiles can you even imagine after all this work mm. the moment the moment we've all been waiting for the moment of truth I'm gonna stand underneath here <gasps> It's not gonna fall, is it? Okay, next job, toilet rolls. Take the tag off. One, two, three. This goes onto here, like this. And then it goes back through the little loops at the side. Ta-da! 
and then, oh, wrong way. <laughs> and then you just pull the toilet roll off like this. Isn't that good? Ta-da. I suppose you could even have two on there as well. well. Not that you would need to, but you know what I mean. That's basically how the story goes. Isn't that good? I think it were about £20 from JISC and they still do it. Also, the mirror is filthy, so I'm going to give that a quick wipe before we come in here and obviously do the full detailed reveal. I might as well just give everything a clean because it's really filthy. Okay, so this was the end of the corridor where that creepy window was. And that is now the window. Is that wonky, that shelf? We'll sort it out later. But yeah, that is the creepy window at the back. And we've just painted it white and then used the shelf in the middle as a styling feature for above the toilet. So originally, I wanted to paint this frame do you know get one of them little rough sponges and then dab it in the gold paint and have it as a gold frame and I still might do that so that might happen in the future but at the moment we think we're just going to leave it white until we're absolutely certain that's what we're looking like all styled up with the four plant I do need to paint the pot or just get a new pot or whatever this is the Rituals Reed Diffuser in Sweet Jasmine. It's the larger size. It does fit in this shelf section here. However, the Reed Diffusers, the sticks, were a little bit too big just for this corner where it comes down here. So I've just trimmed them off slightly at the top, as you saw. And yeah, I don't know what we're going to put in this one. I suppose you could put the soaps in here when we find some nice soaps or some products or whatever. We'll figure it out. But I think it looks really minimal. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? And you've got that nice scent then, again, above the toilet. The toilet is a Burlington toilet. Now, I love the ones with the cistern that goes right the way up here. But we couldn't do that in this room because of the window above the toilet in, in this room in particular. So I think we're gonna do that one upstairs instead when we do upstairs bathroom. So until then, we've just gone for a normal standard, you know, cistern style. It's got, this toilet's incredible. It's got all the fittings in this chrome color. It's absolutely beautiful. Like the detail, the attention to detail with these Burlington, bathrooms and look they're traditionally beautiful so you never ever need to swap it out some of you might remember the handle they actually made a mistake and sent us a silver chrome handle and i just really wasn't happy with it it took a few weeks to sort out really but eventually we got the right one through and now that's on here i think the last time you saw this toilet it still had the chrome one on but yeah that's all been fixed now traditional chrome handle for the toilet. Don't forget guys, I will link everything if I can down below so that you can access the information and buy anything from the links. And I just wanted to point out the little screws in the bottom of the toilet there. Like even they are brass and gold. It just really makes me happy when those kind of details are involved. And then we have our toilet seat. Now as far as toilet seats go, this one is of course luxury indeed so it's like this wood effect it's not actual wood because that would be so unhygienic and impossible because when wood gets wet it expands doesn't it but yeah it's absolutely stunning look at the toilet seat there are the details I can't remember guys where the toilet seat was from I'll link it down below once I've spoken to hubby so the information will be on the screen and down below but again it's soft closing oh actually guys it's from heritage bathrooms it is a very expensive toilet seat but you can't deny how gorgeous that looks and from the toilet again we styled up the toilet roll holder basket that fits all the toilet rolls in here and then this is the actual toilet roll holder 
either that or i was gonna just get one of them poles that stick up and they have the toilet rolls on them just in here probably but i think that looks absolutely gorgeous and i do like to add like basket and wooden rattan tones to a room i think it makes it look so much more rustic when you do that let's start with the sink again it's the burlington sink and they do this sink in different sizes i can't quite remember the size we got but it was one of the smaller sizes again if i know i'll link it down below for you everybody has different size bathrooms don't they basically but yeah it's the burlington range traditional burlington sink and it's just obviously porcelain and all the details in here are brass gold the chain, the plug hole itself, the plug as well, and then the taps. We've got Burlington London, hot, and we have Burlington London cold. Would you believe it? <laughs> Again, it's got all the Burlington details and it's just detailed to perfection. You guys know how I feel about heritage brands and the quality of this sink is incredible. All the pipe work is in the same gold chrome. There's nothing out of place. Everything's been thought of and yeah whatever that black thing is there i'd probably paint that look how incredible these little feet are that stamped on the tiles i just think it's beautiful it's beautiful and yeah whilst i'm down here i'm going to show you the mirror without me being in the frame but the mirror is absolutely stunning it's from the range and they do have a bigger version of this very similar in store and I can't remember how much that one was, but it was too big for this cloakroom. And I knew I wanted a tall church looking mirror. So basically I was browsing online for a church style mirror that would fit in this little space, in this cloakroom in particular. And I found it on the range. Like I said, they didn't have it in store. They had like a big version in store, but they've got this smaller one. I'll link it down below and it's available on the website i don't think you could click and collect i think i had to have it delivered so it did take a little while but i was waiting for other things anyway so it didn't matter and i'm gonna give you a close up in a minute but it's like rustic because it's metal top tip to have a look around garden centers and things for stuff that you can use inside the house as you all know especially if you love rustic things because yeah this mirror is meant to be for outside and i brought it in because i just love bringing the outside in i think it looks absolutely incredible above that space as well i'm literally sat on floor here oh we didn't even show you the light did we so the light is from where's the light from <laughs> the lights from john lewis Again, it's the aged brass and it's got the little arch on. We just felt like this sort of wall light would look best in this room. And the glass in particular, with it being a toilet room and then we can wipe it down really easy and it's just cleaner rather than like, you know, a linen shade or, or something like that. Because there were actually two lights we were thinking of for this room. This was one of them. And then I'll pop on the screen the other one, also from John Lewis. Now we've had the other one in the last house in the office if you remember it but they still do it and i'll link both of them down below but this one won because you can wipe it down easily and the fact that this room is a cloak room and a powder room it just worked out better i think anyway and yeah it's got this like perforated glass which is quite nice so yeah, wallpaper's up. Have you seen this room since we got the wallpaper in? Probably on Instagram, because I did tease it over there, didn't I? Anyway, this is the Tol de Jouy wallpaper from Lucy Annabelle. I'm gonna give you a close up here of the print. It's absolutely stunning. There's quite a few Tol de Jouy wallpapers on the market designer ones but we went for this one because it's got more of a like a woodland theme and with our house being in the woods i just thought it was very fitting for the house and i fell in love with it and yeah they do it in all sorts of colors on the luciana bell website this color in particular is grayish so it's like a gray warm beige color mixed i'm aware that it's coming up quite 
purple toned on camera but I think that's just due to the lighting it's beautiful in real life Oh, we did actually go for the toggle switches in this room, just like we did everywhere in the house. Ash's dad did the wallpaper for us on the weekend and then literally on the Monday we went to Rome. So I can't remember what I showed you last of this wallpaper, but here it is in situ. However, I'm not gonna lie, we did have a fault with the wallpaper and I were really gutted at first because I thought we'd have to order more or whatever and sort it out. It, it worked out in the end, but basically some of you will know because I did, I did put it on our group chat on Instagram, didn't I? And I showed you there on the day this happened, but yeah, my father-in-law was putting up the wallpaper and there was some sort of misprint. So it was one sheet of wallpaper all the way down. And then all of a sudden, like halfway through the print, the print just changed. <laughs> like it wasn't a continuation. It was just really strange. I'll pop a picture of it on the screen if I can go and find that photo because it is somewhere. However, I must say we did report it to Lucy Annabelle on Instagram and they were so lovely. They couldn't apologise enough. Off. they offered to give us a refund and everything and yeah we didn't we didn't bother because we had to give, give them roll numbers or batch numbers and things like that well we didn't have it anymore because we we didn't have time to collect information we went to Rome and by the time we got back the bins had been and you know all the rolls and the wallpapers and the batch numbers on the rolls had, had gone in the bin basically but they were so helpful so responsive couldn't apologize enough and they're willing to sort it out anyway we did have enough with the two rolls we didn't end up having to order any more we got it done because as you can see it's only the top half in this room that we were doing anyway so it worked out fine in the end. pleased with how the wallpaper turned out. We did tongue and groove panelling at the bottom. We actually repurposed some planks of wood. We didn't actually buy the tongue and groove. We actually just repurposed some old wood that we had lying around and created the tongue and groove style around the room, which is why it's quite gappy and it's not perfect, basically. But I love the fact that it's not perfect. I am really honing in on like vintage style things and ways of doing things and repurposing. And when you're doing that, you're gonna find scuffs and knocks and bruises. And that's fantastic because it does make you not be as precious about things when it's already knocked and stuff because that's how it's meant to look. You know, like used and loved, well loved and used, that kind of a thing. So yeah, we went for tongue and groove paneling style, a dado rail fixed over halfway as well. I just think this kind of style panel in or any style panelling in a room really especially this tongue and groove it really does add character to a room what would have been a normal new build smooth walls right down to the bottom it really does give some depth and something something to a space especially small little spaces we actually added this kind of style paneling underneath the stairs as well it just gives little nooks and corners of a room closet spaces and cloak rooms toilets just some character doesn't it we can't not mention the floor so we went for a tiled floor in the bathrooms we think it's really nice underfoot and yeah we went for a classic checkerboard timeless design yeah you guys know i don't like black and white it's too monochromatic for me anyway personally for my personal style i do like neutrals and just a little bit softer in colour. Black is too harsh for me, even though they look absolutely incredible done right. Yeah, and I thought, why can't I have a checkerboard floor, but not in black and white? I can use my own colours. So we actually set off to look for a checkerboard floor in like a, a neutral beige or brown, and then like off-white together because I thought that would look absolutely lovely until we came across these sage green colour tiles and these off-white and yeah so we just mixed the two and I thought it's gonna look absolutely lovely because it's such a sagey green it looks quite creamy and neutral and I think it's absolutely beautiful and I am hoping to add a lot of plants in this house and a lot of nature I'm gonna bring a lot of the outside in but that comes towards the end unfortunately when we're styling it would not be more 
over the moon about this floor it's absolutely incredible in fact i love it that much i'm looking where i can add it to other places in the house and then this is the little hobbit cupboard under the stairs actually this is the way down to the cellar and i'm just gonna pop the light on because you can see now hubby wired in the lights and he put one he put one of these spots underneath um in here so that you can move it around just so you've got extra lighting under the stairs as you can see back there is our internet connection and then we've got hetty do you know what someone said someone said why is your hoover so filthy like literally shouted at me in the comments why is my hoover so filthy and i'm like honey we are literally renovating a house i don't know what you expect <laughs> like wow anyway that little um opening underneath hetty that hetty sat on hubby made that and that's to get to the cellar underneath and yeah that's the little cupboard under the stairs Ta-da! and we can just shut that off and that my friends is the cloak room the second room to be finished in the house and i couldn't be more pleased with it mention this this sink has some little grooves here can you see them and they will fit soap in and then drain down into the sink so i am looking to add a couple of bougie little soaps in here because as you can see you can't have any like bottles sat on the back hand washes so um we're going to do that and then also because the sink comes with this beautiful rail i'm looking for some really nice hand towels that will go perfectly in this room and i will not buy any for the sake of having them until i find the right ones because that's just that's just me to a t you guys i do not settle so yeah we're waiting on a hand towel as well and it'll finish off this space perfectly good morning everyone it is the following day it's now saturday and studio lighting's downstairs so i apologize if this section of the video is not great we're still quite gray and dull out there even though it's march like i'm so ready for spring i can't lie and um it was nearly snowing yesterday so <laughs> it's currently five past ten i've got the sausages cooking away in the oven i'm having a pajama morning so it seems and i'm really sorry if you can hear that in the background but renovations are underway upstairs in the house so there will be more renovation vlogs to come because I know you guys love them videos the most. It's just that obviously if there's no work going on, there's no work to film, you know, for a renovation vlog. But um, yeah, work has definitely started um, upstairs in the house. So more renovations to come. And yeah, I just wanted to conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching it's a big juicy one so i hope you all enjoy that i know a lot of you love the long form videos like the longer ones so let me know in the comments if this was too long or you like the longer videos and yeah i am so over the moon i think i've said it a million times in this video with how that cloakroom has turned out it's just been like a year in the making in my mind so i hope it all made sense this video of how we got there and what we started with isn't it exciting me and hubby were watching back the footage the before footage along the way in the last year last night we were like wow <laughs> we have come a long way <laughs> guys like we're in march now and it's been a year it will be a year on the 17th of march that we moved into this house and that's why I say do not procrastinate with things you want to do in your life because whilst you're sat there procrastinating, the time is going to pass anyway. So go for it. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> this video is so long as it is. So I am going to conclude right now and I will hopefully see you guys in the next video. If you're still here at this point in the video, leave me a hammer emoji for renovations obviously and i'll see you in my next video bye guys